Well, one of the questions in the field has been uh, how low should we go for LDL cholesterol? And we took an opportunity to explore just that question with uh, the conglomeration of all the trials in the Alirakumab Odyssey program that got many patients down to very low levels, levels where we haven't explored the relationship of LDL to outcomes because it hasn't been possible in the past. Our prior look at this had found with adding ezetimibe on top of a statin that getting the LDL down to uh, about 53 looked like it was better in a large trial than an LDL of around 70 on average. So the question has come up is, well, what if you go below 50? Would you keep getting benefit? and there really hasn't been many trials that have gotten that low, and it's hard to then say. So within the Odyssey program, we looked at all 10 trials that have been done to date, and looked at the achieved LDL level across whichever group, then in a multivariate analysis, looked at what was the event rate. And interestingly, we found that for each uh, millimole or 39 milligram per deciliter decrease, uh, it was about 22% lower event rate. And it went from the high level just all the way down the whole spectrum. So the lowest event rates and adjusted ones were in those who had an LDL between 50 down to 25. It's a small number of events, uh, you know, it's about 5,000 patients, a, a little over 100 events that we analyze, so modest data, but I think encouraging to say that we just keep going lower and lower and we are seeing hints that the benefits in terms of cardiovascular events will continue to be seen. Well, actually, uh, one can. And so there is a, a patient in the program who had a, an LDL cholesterol of, of zero. I think it came out of 0 0.1. Uh, so, um, and they do fine, which is we've also looked at safety and there have been other analyses of safety as well. And, and so far it's also looking good. All of the caveat is that we need longer term data in very large numbers of patients. And fortunately that's coming soon. But th these are encouraging data to say that there is a good rationale to keep moving even lower, even in below 50. But, you know, as I understand it, there's less of this bad atherogenic uh, material floating around in the bloodstream that then can't soak into the blood vessels. So the less that there is in the bloodstream, then the less is getting into the blood vessels. And so you're really preventing the plaque progression. Uh, we didn't analyze that in this study, but other uh, analyses with IVIS have, have shown in these LDL levels below 70 that you're actually shrinking plaques. Some tissues make their own, so, uh, so you do need some, but often the tissues that need it can can have it, um, and you know too much of a of something is you know been seen to be an excess, and now we're getting lower and lower. And you know this story in general of lowering cholesterol has, on a global uh, setting, led to big reductions in the numbers of heart attacks. So uh, my kids asked me the other day, so are there fewer heart attacks? And thinking about the numbers from 10 years ago to now, it's about half uh, of new hospitalized patients with heart attacks. So it's a remarkable evolution as we've gotten more and more intensive in our lowering of uh, LDL, the bad cholesterol, that it really is translating to measurable and big differences in how patients do. We've actually keep been moving down further and further. So it started at 100. Uh, that was, you know, probably a decade ago, and, and that remains often sort of the we really should be below 100. 70 actually has been the more recent number in prior guidelines um, that many, you know, people titrate to. The National Lipid Association guidelines have that for LDL cholesterol of getting below 70 as a target. 
the number of 50 has emerged from the Improve It trial where we pushed, we had 70 as the control arm and then pushed lower. We got to 53 on average. The median was actually 50. Uh, and so to simplify it, we're talking about 50 in, uh, as a target. And I, I've now have that in mind for my very high risk coronary patients that I'd like to get the LDL down to that range. And we now have the opportunity to get even below that. And, and that was the idea of this latest research. And so far, it's looking pretty good even in that super duper low level.